Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in this video I'm talking about the topic of why are lawyers so terrible, so disliked, and so hard to deal with, and what you can do about it if you need a lawyer in your injury case. So um, this topic came up because, you know, I read the comments under my YouTube videos and so many people have a horror story regarding their lawyer. Like it's almost every video has at least one or two comments and then if somebody leaves a, a lawyer horror story it turns out that we get you know more people commenting oh yeah that happened to me too so why are lawyers so terrible what's the story and what can you do to avoid your uh, dealing with a lawyer like that so but you know before we start and before we go into the video if you like my videos if you would hit the subscribe button and the like thumbs up button that would really help me if you wouldn't mind leaving me a five-star review on Google that would really help me out and of course if your loved one needs a lawyer I'm available to give a free consultation free call free questions no obligation you can call me at 312-500-4500 312-500-4500 so why are lawyers so terrible? Well, in surveys, every year they survey like the best liked profession, the least liked profession, and they also do survey, surveys of the most stressful jobs, okay? And it turns out that being a lawyer is both one of the most stressful jobs for the person doing it, but also lawyers are always in the top 10 of least liked professions. Now, why is that? I will be honest with you. Um, I have run into a lot of lawyers who are under a lot of pressure, they're crabby. I've also run into lawyers who did not present themselves or represent the, the profession very well. And what lawyers can do about that is just be better communicators. The number one complaint about lawyers is that they don't communicate with their client. In other words, it's, you know, milk and honey and we're best friends until you sign up. And then once you sign up, you never hear from them. Or if you do hear from them, they don't want to call you back. Or they want to get off the phone as fast as possible without actually giving you any of the information you wanted. Another thing is at the end of the case, the lawyers don't really explain what's going on. When I have a communication problem or somebody who doesn't seem to be really digesting what I'm trying to explain, what I do is... I will have a conversation with them with a friend or family member and then I'll write a letter summarizing everything we talked about. So they've got exactly what's going on in their case in writing. Anyone who doesn't want to put it in writing or have a friend or family member at a meeting, um, what are they trying to hide? If you're afraid to say it in front of somebody else or put it in writing, why is that? If you're an honest person and you want your client to understand what's going on, communicate. So how can you avoid dealing with a lawyer like that? Well, first, understand that it could be hard. You have a lawyer who might have been recommended to you. You have a lawyer who might be somebody who um, friends or family members had a case and they, they recommend the guy really highly and they say he's the greatest guy ever. Well, I take it from personal experience. I have had recommendations like that from people in the past and it is often unfortunately you know they just had an easy case or they met the lawyer earlier in his or her career and they're a different person now right but here's what you can do talk to the lawyer get a free consultation get a feel for them check out their Google reviews but evaluate the Google reviews to see if you think that they're legit because there's a lot of review fraud on um, Google right now there's a lot of lawyers buying reviews and they've got thousands of reviews where two years ago they had 20 reviews and they were all negative. So I think there's a lot of fraud going on uh, in that regard. But my point is recommendations, connections with friends, things of that nature definitely will help you out in figuring out whether the lawyer is good or not. But the key thing is, will the lawyer get on the phone with you and talk to you? Or are you always, like even when you sign up, are you talking to a case manager or an assistant and they just say, oh, the lawyer's too busy to talk to you. If the lawyer's too busy to talk to you at the beginning of the case, they're probably going to be too busy to talk to you at any point or ever answer your questions. And the simple fact is that lawyers, um, 
you know, a lot of lawyers these days are relying on case managers to do all the work on the case and the lawyer is barely supervising. You don't want a lawyer like that handling your case. You want a lawyer, your satisfaction will be highest if you have a lawyer who um, you really need to talk to them, you can actually get them to call you back. Or they will call you, you can call them, you can actually get the lawyer on the phone. And it isn't just, hey, um, yeah, I've got 30 seconds for you. And you ask them a question, they're like, don't worry, don't worry, it's taken care of. I'll call you back, I'll call you back. I'll call you back some other time, I'm busy right now. If that's all you ever get from a lawyer, or all you ever get from a lawyer is an angry secretary or paralegal calling you and acting like you're bothering them, well, you don't want that either. You don't want that either. You want to actually be able to talk to your lawyer, and when you talk to your lawyer, does he communicate with you like you're a human being? Does he or she seem to have respect for you, listen to you, and actually answer your questions? Okay. So, you know, that's my advice. Unfortunately, there are some terrible lawyers out there, but there are also some fantastic ones out there. And I think the ones who are pretty terrible or don't have a good bed, bedside manner, it goes to what we were saying at the beginning of the video, it's a very stressful job. It's very competitive. In Chicago, we have, you know, all of these out-of-state lawyers who aren't even licensed in Illinois. They open up an office, they hire a lawyer, and they practice under his license. And, you know, they dump millions of dollars into marketing, but nobody's really handling the cases. They're signing up the cases, they're referring them, they're settling what they can settle, and then they refer out whatever they can't settle. So, not ideal, not an ideal situation. So, anyway, I hope that information helps you. Don't settle for a lawyer who's mean to you. If you need help, you give me a call, I will talk to you. 312-500-4500. Now, you will be hearing from my staff too because there's no way I could do what I do without my awesome staff. So you will be talking to them most of the time, but I promise you, if you have a problem and you really need to speak with me, you will be able to get a call back from me. 312-500-4500 um, if you or a loved one needs a lawyer. 312-500-4500. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care.